our next speaker, he has a story. He has lots of stories. He's overcome some amazing odds, proof that there is absolutely always hope. P please give a warm welcome to my boy, Eli Brown. As a kid, I loved playing tennis. I've been playing since I was four years old, and I'm pretty good too. My love for the sport even landed me a university scholarship. It was such an exciting time, and yet I couldn't find it in myself to be happy. When I was 14 years old, I was sexually assaulted, and the memory of it left me traumatized. I didn't know how to deal with it, so I suppressed it out of fear of being judged. That memory ate away at me, and I turned to drugs and alcohol to cope with the trauma. I spent my spare time binge drinking, feeding into my own denial of what had happened. That denial extended to my family. I felt like I couldn't tell anyone what had happened or how I was feeling. After my first year of university, I switched to another, and everything just got worse. Without the pressure of maintaining my scholarship or training for tennis competitions, I ended up filling my time with even more self-destructive behavior. A year later, I hit rock bottom. The depression I was feeling pushed me over the edge and I attempted suicide. It was then that I realized something needed to change and I finally reached out for help. I feel so fortunate that I've been able to get help, but not everyone is so lucky. One in three youth today suffer from a mental health issue and two-thirds of those people suffer in silence. Knowing that so many young people feel like they have to deal with mental illness alone is something that motivated me to start my own clothing company, Shine the Light On. We make shirts designed to bring awareness and a voice to mental health issues affecting youth, and we donate a portion of our sales to mental health initiatives across the world. We want to show young people that it is okay not to be okay, and it's okay to ask for help whether it's from your family, friends, or educators, don't ever be afraid to reach out for support, as I am so thankful that I did. It's not easy thinking about where I was just five years ago, but sharing my story reminds me of how far I've come and how much the support of my friends and family and guardians means to me. I know now that I should never be ashamed of what happened to me. Instead, I should be proud of the progress I've made since then. And to remind all of you here today that you're important and valued, I brought a present for you. So everyone, get up on your feet. I have a couple t-shirts I'd love to give away. 